Hey everyone, Sonny Carter here, and in this video, I want to share with you how to create an unbreakable emotional connection with your spouse. Um, so if you struggle with really connecting with your spouse at an emotional level, if you struggle with really um, just having that intimate, emotional, intimate bond with your spouse, then you're going to get a lot from this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and if it relates to you. And um, if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. So let's get right into this topic on how to build an unbreakable emotional connection with your spouse because a lot of couples struggle with this. We've struggled with this in our relationship. Um, I think in our fourth or fifth year in our marriage. And it's a big deal because we as humans, we are all innately desire human connection. We desire to be fulfilled emotionally. And even though a lot of, especially men, put up a facade or a front like they don't need this, um, they do. And the men who actually act like they don't need it are the ones that end up really unfulfilled in their relationship. I think uh, from my experience, um, helping other couples and also just the challenges that we've been through, I think uh, women tend to gravitate easily towards emotional connection and expressing their emotions. Um, not you know, There's exceptions, of course, but um, for the most part, that's just my experience and what I see. Um, so one of the things you want to do, especially if you struggle like me, to express yourself emotionally, express your feelings, express the things that you're struggling with from your past, um, just, just struggling just to really have emotional connection with your spouse, is you have to tap into your childlike self, okay? And what do I mean by this? Your childlike self is that most authentic self, that most unique self, that most genuine self, the, your truest sense of who you are. Um, it's not the self that you've been taught to be, which is to not share your weaknesses, not share your feelings, um, be tough and don't show your emotions, right? Guard your heart, don't let people in. Like all that stuff is not your true self. Your, your childlike self is that, that inner, inner child in you, that innocent child in you that uh, is not afraid to express what they feel, is not afraid to um, show their emotions. You know, if you think of a child, right? If they're sad, they'll just come out and say it. You'll see it, right? All over their face, they'll show it. They'll tell you whether they're sad, they're happy, they're frustrated. Um, you know, just the other day, you know, my son um, came up to me and told me that um, he felt like, you know, um, that we were being, um, I would say, uh, what was the word he used? Um, uh, maybe uh, too hard on him, right? He felt like we were being too hard on him and he expressed his emotions. And, um, but it was just a basic statement, like, Daddy, you know, um, I feel like you guys are being too hard. And so a lot of times as adults, you know, we don't share our basic feelings of what we're feeling. You know, whether it's sad or happy, whether we had a good day, whether we're feeling joyful. Um, sometimes we're just chuck it up to, yeah, my day was okay or everything's fine, but that's not going to build emotional, connect, emotional connection. Um, you know, again, we have to tap into our truer, our truer sense of who we really are. And that is the, the person that um, wants to be able to connect with someone and express what they're really feeling. Um, because I'm in here, I got some crazy truck noise, but... Um, and so I think that when we do this, we're going to build a more emotional bond. You see, um, love and feelings of love don't come automatically. They come when we take action. They come when we do the things that draw us closer to each other. That is what's going to bring feelings of love in a relationship. Most people get it backwards. They think, well, if I'm not feeling love in this relationship, then it must not be, um, it must not be meant to be. But that's not the case. You know, in the beginning, in the infatuation stage, yes, maybe, right? It's automatic. You have all these love drugs coming out of your brain. You feel love automatically, and it's just automatic, right? You're always thinking about the person. But once that infatuation stage is gone, then the way you're going to keep these feelings of love in the relationship is by continuing to do the steps that's going to keep you f having those feelings of love. And one of those steps is building emotional intimacy, right? Allowing your spouse in not not shielding yourself away from your spouse in regards to what you're feeling because then your spouse will feel insecure they'll feel like you know you're keeping your feelings close to your chest and i get it look sometimes i know it's hard to express the things that we're feeling because we're going through stuff i know the easiest thing sometimes i know we don't know what we're feeling right and we're just trying to process it fine just say that right um but say something right don't we can't just hide the things that we're feeling right even if we don't know what we're feeling like that's something we can express Right, and so again, um, tapping into our childlike self, our most authentic self, our most genuine self, 
our most um, authentic self, you know, who we really are, um, not what we've been taught to be, what we've learned to be, or what we've um, maybe seen modeled before, but tapping into the, our truest sense of, of really who we are. So um, I hope you got value from this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, let me know. Share me a comment below and let me know what are some of the tips that you guys used to build emotional intimacy in your relationship. I would love to hear some of those tips as well. And um, any questions you have, um, I'd love to read those comments. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.